gonna check to see if I'm on I don't see anyone on yet so I'm going to just wait Good morning. If you are hopping on, please comment to let me know where you're watching from. Okay. Okay, I think I'm on now. Good morning. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching, please let me know where you're watching from, what state you're watching from. Good morning, Miss Donna. Watching from Rockwell, hello. Okay. Good morning, Pastor Tim. Good morning, Miss Barbara. Good morning, Miss Amy. All right, so this week we are talking about thriving through your trials. Um, if you're hopping on, go ahead and share this video and comment to let me know where you're watching from so that I can say hi. Good morning, Xavier. Good morning, April. Thank you to truly walk with the Lord. Um, so during that year, my marriage was failing. Um, I had just started my lash business while at the same time managing um, my husband's telecom business, which is like the total opposite of what I do. Um, and so during that time, it was hard. I knew nothing about the telecom business. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the phrase, fake it till you make it. Well, that's what I had to do basically when I went to all of the meetings for him because he was traveling, I had to go to the meetings. I had to sit there and pretend I knew what I was doing and saying and thank the good Lord that he gave me favor and wisdom through it all. Um, during that time, I had to manage a group of idiotic men um, I don't know if you guys know anything about the tower crews, but they are not easy to work with. Um, I dealt with contractors getting arrested, um, a possible lawsuit at that time. Um, there was so many messages or text messages full of threats that I had to deal with that time. It was very stressful. Um, and so within in the middle of all of that, I remember just like telling God, God, I'm following you. I'm doing whatever I feel like you're telling me to do, God. And I just felt like it was really hard. I felt like following God was really hard. And I felt like, I don't know, I guess I had this crazy mindset that if I was to follow the Lord wholeheartedly, then God would just do his thing and magically all of my problems would disappear. But that was not the case. Um, and so during that time, God really just starts speaking to me. And I remember him just telling me, um, you know, he kept bringing me to James 1, which Pastor Tim spoke about yesterday. And I love, I love that scripture where it says, consider it pure joy when you go through trials of many kinds. And so during that time, while I was doing with everything on top of that, um, you know, I, I had a home, but I felt homeless most days because it was so bad at home that I, I couldn't stay home with my three kids. I'd have to take my three kids to my sister's or to a friend's house to stay at. Um, and so I just, I remember just really telling God that, God, I thought this was supposed to be easier. Um, and so I would, I would hear God tell me, you know, 
Consider it pure joy. Consider trials of many kinds. And to be honest, every time I read that back then, I would almost throw up in my mouth. Like, I'm like, God, I don't know how you expect me when I'm going through all this crap, you know? Um, but I'm going to read it this morning. James 1, 2 to 3, the NLT. Good morning, Stephanie. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when you're... For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. So that is the goal that God has for us, that we become perfect and complete in not needing anything. When I look back now, that year might be the hardest year of my life. Um... But it was also one of the best years of my life because in the middle of the trials that I went through that year, I learned perseverance, endurance, character, strength. God led me to our church and blessed me with my church family. I learned how to battle spiritually. I learned how to worship. I learned how to trust God, how to seek him um, 